lose They didn't muscle. move. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Like, I mean, my armpits are sweaty. I'm shaking and I feel like I'm gonna throw up still. Like me. <laughs> All right, guess where we're going? Wing ding, yeah, what? Who gave you a wing? Who's this? Is it Grandpa? wing I'm talking they're about. they're all different kinds. So there's That's tons of different kinds. Some of them are sweet, some of them are hot, some of them are hot and sweet, like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, so anyway, the local restaurants bring their favorite or their best wing and then everybody gets to try them. It's kind of like an unlimited all you can eat wing fest. And then you vote on your favorite one. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool event. They had live music. The girl who was singing was awesome. The babies had a blast. It was fun. All right, Lindell, let's get you out of there. You ready? You look so cute. Look how cute you are in your little outfit. You ready? Okay. Rachel was so proud of herself. She's like, did you hear what I just said about the wing? How it's hot and sweet, just like me. She thinks she's hilarious. So I was just telling Rachel, I've been annoyed all day. Let me show you why. <laughs> Are you going over to say hi to your brother? Come on over. Lyndall just started, oops, do you spit up? Hold on, I'll help you. That's why we keep these right here, handy. Lendl sometimes makes it her mission to pull all of those down. There we go, there we go. So she was just, you can tell when she's really excited because she starts squealing, like, like really high pitched squeals. And so she started doing that and she was crawling towards Bear. So that's what made her excited today. Yeah, is that your brother? Okay, are you gonna help him crawl? That sounds fun. That sounds super fun. So that excited, high-pitched squeal thing, the other day I heard her doing that and I looked over and she was sitting there holding my cell phone. She had crawled over and got my cell phone and totally gave herself away by doing that excited squeal. This camera, I think, is focused on Iris which is just fine with me. Good morning, Iris. How are you doing? Taking a bath? Good, hygiene is important. Good morning. So, kind of a big day today. I'm finally going to get the wall done. So last night I was able to do the trim before I went to bed. And then today I'll do coat number one, probably do coat number two tomorrow, maybe later today, I don't know. 
But it's exciting for Rachel at work today because they're having what's called like a trunk show. Trunk show in the past, they called it an open house today. I'm not sure why they changed the name up. But basically it's like a big sale. and um, Hopefully a lot of people will show up and meet Rachel and, you know, maybe get a new pair of glasses. So I'm going to take the kids over to see her later today. So that'll be fun. Uh, but she doesn't go to work, I think. She's not going until 2 because of the events tonight from 4 to 7 or something like that. So uh, let's get this thing painted, shall we? Keep up the good work, honey bunny. Thanks. There's something therapeutic about painting, isn't there? There is. So Rachel took over painting for me because I accidentally spilled a bunch of paint. <laughs> <laughs> it was all over this chair. Luckily that cleaned up. And then right where Rachel's foot is, you'll see the, that Lysol stuff. Right there, I spilled some on the carpet. But thank God, like I was able to clean it up and there's not going to be any stain. Whew. Are you going to say something? So a couple things that you may not know about Brad. He is what I would call accident prone. Is that yeah. clumsy? Well, clumsy. Accident prone. I'm one of the type of guys that would rather get a job done really fast than for it to be perfect. That's true. We took like this personality quiz and it, we've talked about this in the blog, but it's been like a while. <clears throat> it asks the question, would you rather have something done perfectly or quickly? Perfectly. Quickly. Mm -hmm. And because of the quickly part, things get broken a lot. <laughs> <laughs> or your foot goes through the ceiling. Or, I mean. Or you spill paint on the or floor. Or you spill paint all over the floor. Like, you name it. Brad's been in that situation. Or you break a vase that we were given for our wedding. Um, there's a bunch of them. But also, like. He's extremely lucky. Like, I mean, I married lives, you, right? Yeah. He lives this charmed life where, like, we'll be in the middle of moving and they're calling for downpours of rain and then there's nothing but sun. And then he spills half a gallon of paint on the carpet himself in the chair and it wipes up. Who, like, who spills paint on the carpet and it wipes up perfectly? Brad. <laughs> Brad does. <laughs> So he's not only clumsy and accident prone, but he's extremely lucky in recovering from all of these things. Right? That's right. Yeah. And look at my family. He's How lucky am I? Lucky man. We were just, we got into a slight argument this morning because how did it even start? Like the babies were getting, so mornings are pretty challenging to like, I don't know, to get both babies to be happy and entertained all the way up until they go down for their first nap. And I'm usually by myself, well, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and then by Thursday I'm just like so thankful to have Brad here to help. And so Brad, for the first time ever, had him for an entire day on Monday and said that they were perfect and like made the comment that they're never cranky around him. <laughs> and oh man, that grinded my gears. <laughs> She took it personally like I was saying that like because she's a bad mom that the kids are cranky that's Which not, couldn't be further from the truth. That's not how I took it. Then how did you take it? I took it like they're Like bored with me or frustrated with being with me, but when they're with you, they're entertained and happy mm. That's and so like I feel bad because I'm my kids are sick of being with me <laughs> So, Which couldn't be further from the truth. Well, how, so how was I supposed to take it? Just that I'm lucky that they're happy when I get them. Uh-huh. So today's a huge day. I think we say that every day. <laughs> when you have babies that are less than a year old, there's a lot of big days that come about. So, yes. and I think this kind of day is... It's been made more of a big deal with social media, and it's um, really not that big of a deal. Would you say it's a big deal? No, but they weren't in my belly, so. That's true. Okay, so if you can't figure it out yet, the big deal for today is that the babies have been outside the womb as long, exactly as long as they've been inside the womb. So it's kind of special, I think. I don't know. I think it's kind of neat. Yeah. We definitely need to take a picture to commemorate. Yeah, it's neat. So, that's it's just weird. I don't know if it counts though with IVF babies because they had a, how long did they have? 5 days, 6 days to six grow days in a petri dish. They spent almost a week 
not in the womb. So do we need to wait another week? That's confusing. So I was reading this book to the babies. Reading is a strong word. It's more of like a playbook. And I came across this page. I'll show you. And so they do this throughout the book. It's like a really neat interactive. This is not much of a book. It's more of a toy. But anyway, Wibble Wobble is one of our super frequent commenting subscribers. She's like one of our OGs. I remember her commenting way back when we were yeah. like early pregnancy. Yeah, she's so, one of the original. Yeah. So shout out Wibble Wobble from, I believe she lives in Australia. Oh, down under. Australia. Hey, we need a name for like our community. We do. Like the pack. The do you have a name that we what can should we call, call you community? guys? I feel like you guys are like an extension of our family. Totally. Especially some of the super common commenters. That dog. He's gonna earn himself a timeout here in a minute. The babies are napping. Anyway, shout out to Wibble Wobble. Hi, you're in our book. <laughs> it's amazing, that little barking episode. I have the baby's monitors up right here and I could hear him bark and then I could hear it coming through on the monitors and neither of them woke up. Pretty amazing. So we just got home from the frame show, um, or Rachel's open house at work, which I think was a really big success. There was a lot of people there. And these two were just like the bell of the ball, like everybody loved them. Of course they did. Uh, they're pretty awesome. But we have a new toy. <laughs> Bear loves this water bottle. Show him. Show him. Uh oh. The June bug. Oh. <laughs> oh. Be careful. It's expensive. That was one of the most intense moments since the babies have been born. I'm shaking and I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You're still shaking? Yes. Our, here, look at my arm. Is my armpit sweating? Um. Or did it not show through? No, you can see it right here. Yep. My armpits are sweaty. My armpits are sweaty. I'm shaking and I feel like I'm gonna throw up still. And I was really tired, like I was sitting in that chair. I've been really exhausted in the evenings for some reason. You have been. I don't know, You're like more so than normal. You're like napping before you pump. Exactly, I'm like well, going to sleep a, at eight. And, and you have a swollen lymph node, maybe you're fighting an infection. I don't know, I don't feel like I am, but. This, this is the culprit. So, yeah, I was sitting in the recliner, like feeling like I was about to fall asleep. So Rachel's parents have a, an alarm system for the house, so don't try to rob us. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm... Also, Brad did my hair this evening while I was tandem breastfeeding. I needed to get it out of the way because they were grabbing it. Yeah, he, looks... he did a great job. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Anyway, I was putting it back up because we finished... The alarm. We finished, the, yeah, I'm putting the alarm back up because we finished the, or because we finished the motion detector. The checkboard ball. We finished the checkboard ball, yay. Um, but anyway... There were a lot of side stories during that intro. Yeah. But anyway, uh, as I'm putting up the sensor, the freaking house alarm starts to go off. Like, loud. And, and it's it's what time? I was going to say, we put the babies down an hour ago. Yeah, like around 7.45, and it's 8.48 now. So, they, I mean, they've been down for like barely an hour, and the freaking house alarm starts going off <sighs> loud. Really loud. Loud, loud. Really, like we really, couldn't really hear each loud. other having conversation. It was weird because I was sitting in the chair and I kept hearing this like beep, 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 beep sound. And I texted mom and I said, what is that? And she texted me back and I just now saw it. It said alarm. But that was before it was going off. I was hearing it beeping up there. And then I guess like right as Brad was putting that on, like the alarm was off. But right as Brad was putting that back on, the beeping prompted my dad to go like hit reset, and it was probably like like uh, Christmas vacation when they <laughs> finally flipped the light right as he plugged it in. 
<laughs> so uh, rest I and then guess. Rusty's running around downstairs barking and like uh, Lyndall and Bear are sleeping down here. The alarm's going off down here. Rusty's barking. What did you do? Did you go upstairs? Yeah, I ran upstairs because I was going, how do we shut this thing off? <laughs> so then I run back down because I, I wanted to grab the monitors and I'm just like, I know both of these babies are going to be awake freaking out and like how am I going to hold both of them and calm them down, get them back to bed. Nobody woke they up. They didn't move They didn't muscle. move. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Like, I mean. That's like, why we use sound machines these days. <laughs> and you know what? Sound machines are fancy. It used to be a box fan or a washing machine uh -huh. or a ceiling, like a fan in the bathroom. That yeah. used to be a sound machine. They're fancy now. Not that fancy. Lidl's is like $12. Yeah. On Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll link it below. Yeah. So having the sound machine saved us, I think. I think so too. And because they're infants and they're and like at the anything. tiredest point in their evening with the highest sleep pressure. Yeah. So. I mean, we used to vacuum right by their head. That was when they were inf infants. Mm -hmm. It's totally different when they're at their age. <sighs> I need to do some yoga or something. Yeah. So this vlog is over. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're pretty fun. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, I guess we'll see you again Monday. Unless right? we see you sooner. Yeah, unless we do something really fun this weekend. We'll probably spend a lot of time out on the boat because it's gonna be like it's gonna be gorgeous. 70s and finally we're not gonna be dying from heat exhaustion. We can't even like bring the babies out unless they're swimming when it's this dang hot. So. Yeah, so hopefully we get a break from that and get to have some fun out on the water. Yay! All right, have a great weekend. Bye. Bye! One more funny thing. We were joking about how loud the alarm was and my dad was like, yeah, and we're afraid to flush the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so true. One more thing. So obviously we have a really big wall with a lot of space, so... <sighs> Please let us know your like favorite motivational phrase or like a really cool quote, something that would good, go great in our workout room, like chalkboard here. Yeah.